What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over the top diamond cards in NBA 2K21, my team. So, we are going to, obviously, diamond cards are between 92 and 94 overall in the game this year. You guys all should know that, but you just never know, there are a few guys that still uh, are coming in from last year, maybe came out of Christmas, that still think 92 is amethyst, no, 92 is diamond this year, so... Basically, funny enough, like, if you're looking back at 2K18, these cards were all Amethysts. They all would have been Amethyst. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 were all Amethysts back in 18, which is kind of crazy. But, um, I don't know why I'm talking 2K18. It's three years later. But, uh, yeah, so, we have quite a few cards here. And, again, they will be ranked based on how they are compared to other diamonds. So, Alex English. He's bad. Uh, D or E. I want him D for now. He's bad, though. He's, like, not got great speed. Can't really play defense. Can't shoot from deep. Mellow base, which means he can't shoot from the corners. He has pretty much nothing going for him. I think, is he TT? Is he the unlimited reward? Yeah, he's the unlimited reward for winning um, 20 unlimited games, and he's just not worth it. He's just not worth it. The card is not it. Then we got Iverson. Iverson... I mean, this Iverson's in worthless. No range. As far as I'm aware, he doesn't have above gold. He, does he even have... I think he might have silver quick for his step. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't have range. Not the greatest dunker. Can't play defense. No clamps. Can't get clamps. He's weak. He is just really, really weak, this Iverson. Which is a pity, because the pink diamond Iverson's okay. And we got AK. One of the most obvious S-tier inclusions. One of the best cards, period, in this game. Andre Karolenko is a beast, lads. He is a beast. Definitely, definitely a player that will help out a lot in your team. And if you can get one of him badged up at range, he's one of the best cards in the game, period. And we got our Vita Sabonis. So Sabonis. Let me put Sabonis in. As far as Diamond Santos go, he's pretty alright. So let me put him B tier. Let me put him B tier. He's not the greatest card in the world, but Diamond Center is a weird one. There's like Bosch, Duncan, Gobert, and apart from those three guys, really, you're not looking anyone great. I just realized I scroll way too low down. Uh, Bosch, Duncan, and Gobert. Apart from those guys, there's not that many great bronze or diamond centers. So yeah, and you put him in B tier. And we got Bam. Bam's going B tier as well. I think they're about equal in terms of effectiveness. They both do completely different things. Like Bam is obviously an athletic, better defensive center, but. He can shoot a little bit more, or but he can't shoot as much, sorry, as um, Sabonis. So for that reason, I'm going to put them both in B tier. Bam also a little bit small for what he does at six foot ten. He's like a better version of the Bill Russell diamond card. And we got Ben Simmons. I mean, D. Again, if you're playing against someone who's not very good at the game, you can dominate with Simmons. But if you're playing against someone that's half decent, they will expose Ben. And yeah, it is kind of, it's a weird one because if you're playing at someone who doesn't know what they're doing, he's unbelievable. Put him in A, put him in A tier. But all you have to be doing is playing a competent player and Ben Simmons is beyond worthless. He's a liability you can't have him on the floor. So for that reason, I'm going to have to put him in D tier. But I know there are people that will have success with Simmons. And trust me, you will have success with Simmons. But try using Simmons against someone like me and you will lose because of Simmons. Then we got the guy, we got the garbage man himself. The guy who is only on these lists so that he can be put directly into worthless tier. We got Ben Wallace. Thankfully, Ben Wallace is no longer 500, 600K. Um, but, oh man, Ben, Ben, Ben. You suck, you absolutely suck, Ben Wallace. And we got Brandon Ingram. Ingram... Let me go. He'll probably end up lower, eh? Ingram's good. Ingram's really good. Great shot. Also on fast. Good dribbling. Defense mediocre, though. So, yeah. Uh, Brandon Ingram going into A tier. And we got Boozer getting into worthless. Boozer's so bad. Mellow. Mellow's B. Mellow's. There's something off with Mellow. Not being able to shoot in the corner is a problem, but there's something else that's off with him. I've used him a few times. He's alright. He should be good. 
Like, with the amount of badges he gets with his stats, he should be an alright card. There's just something about him that feels off. But he's not terrible, so I mean, we wouldn't beat here. Then we have got Chris Bosch. I mean, I'm considering it. I'm considering the S tier. I'm going to put him in A tier for now, but I might move him to S tier. Not the greatest interior defense. That's the only problem. Like, he's great in the post. He shoots the ball unbelievably well. Great release. Really fast for a big man. We got Mullen. Mullen's just B. He's, he's okay. Like, he does a job. Mullen does something that a million other cards do in the game, and it's be a spot-up 3 and D player. Does not do much else, but again, the vast majority of the time you do not need, especially for, like, a small forward, you don't need him to do much else. He's a competent defender, so let's put Mullen in B tier. CJ McCollum. I mean, E. I think E's probably a fair place for CJ McCollum. Like, overall moderately good card offensively but non-factor on defense like is he even, uh, the question is like I know he can curry but is he even better than like an Eric Gordon I'm gonna say no so like E tier you can get Cliff Cliff going up into A tier I really like Cliff Hagen I really like him there's just something kind of weird about just the way he moves. He's, maybe he's a little bit undersized, but I don't put him with the elites in the game. I do not put him as an elite, elite wing, but he's really good. Especially because, like, yeah, he's about 23, 24k right now. I'm telling you, he will drop below 20 soon. There will be a stage where Cliff Hagen is super affordable, and he's a great card. Then we are Clyde. I mean, badged up, he's all right, but like, C? C tier for Clyde Drexler? I think that's probably the most fair place to put him. Don't think he's an exceptional card by any means. Daryl Griffith. D. D, I don't, I have him, don't like him. David Robinson. Yeah, he's as good as these guys. B tier. High B tier, maybe low A. D Rob's good. He's just very bad value. Like, he's objectively good. He is just bad, bad value. Let me put David West into. Give me D tier. Like, you have to fully badge him to make him usable. Don't think he's great. DeRozan. E tier. He's bad. He's usable on next gen. He's just quite bad on current gen. Like, he's really not good on current gen. He's like, imagine Ben Simmons, but not as good attacking the basket. Then we got Rob. Beyond worthless. Beyond worthless, lads. Dennis Rodman, get into, get into worthless tier. Actually, no, he's not quite as bad as Ben Wallace, but man, Rodman sucks. We got Derek Fisher. I mean, C tier, he can curry. He's got some decent animations. Jumper is all right off the catch, not the greatest off the dribble. Yeah, I think C tier is a fair spot for Fisher. Darren Williams. Darren's A tier. Darren's definitely, definitely A tier. Still a really good point guard. He's still he's one of the most underrated point guards in the game. Like, he's yeah, he's not in the curry conversation, but he's in the Stockton conversation. He's really good. Desmond Mason. I mean, I hate Desmond Mason. He's D or E. Let me put him E tier. I've used him a few times. He can't shoot. And if you can't shoot and you're not absolutely elite at everything else, which he's not, he's pretty okay at everything else. But he's such a bad shooter that on the wing, he's going E tier with DeRozan. Then we got... I mean, Matumbo's still really good at what he does, but is he that much better than the Ruby? Let me put him D tier. I, he's fine. He is perfectly fine. He does a job. But like, Matumbo, there is actually very little difference between this Matumbo and the Ruby Matumbo, so if you want someone to play this role, just get the Ruby. Let's put him in. Actually, no, let's put him in C tier. Let's put him in C tier. He's good at what he does. Um, Draymond, S. No, um, as far as diamonds go, he's still S tier. If you could only use diamond cards, I think most people would still be run out there running with Draymond if pink diamond cards didn't exist, but a really, really nice card. Probably... Probably around like the 25 to 30 in terms of overall cards, but in dimes, I'm going to put him in S. We got Drazen, wherever Mullen is. 
Jazz's B tier, he's just a 3 and D guy, hits wide open jumpers and not much else. Does not have too much else going for him. We got Eddie Jones. Oh, I don't why why did I even pause there? There shouldn't even be a pause. It's not like the pauses for like Daryl Griffith where I'm not sure which of these tiers I'm gonna put him in. But um Eddie Jones, no question about it, is S tier. Gary Payton, I mean he's bad. He's just objectively bad on offense. Can't do anything. Yeah, he's a decent defender. Guy cannot do anything on offense either. Although I do not regret locking in for Gary Payton because he did help me get Paul Pierce, who, while not great now for the time, was a beast. Then we get Giannis Antetokounmpo. B tier. Uh, do I put him in B or A? I'll put him in A. I'll put him in A. Basically, when he's badged up, he's A tier. He's pretty decent. Glenn. Glenn, get all the way up into S tier. You are one of the best diamond cards in this game. Glenn is a beast, man. Glenn is an absolutely incredible, incredible card that definitely belongs to be up here in S tier. Okay, so by the looks of things, we are about halfway through the list now anyway. So let's just have a look at Gordon Hayward. I mean, Hayward B as well. He's, he's just a spot-up shooter. He maybe he offers a little... He probably offers a little more in the Mullen or Drazen, but... I don't know, the better release. But no, he's not Cliff Hagen good. He's not Cliff Hagen good or Brandon Ingram good. So that's why he's there. I mean, objectively, is Greg Oden that much worse than Matumbo? No. But, like... Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep these guys up in seat here, man. Maybe with Tombo's a bit better than him move down to D tier, but they're both bad. Hakeem, A. And D Rob get into A. Hakeem, yeah, Hakeem, you stay in A. D Rob, Hakeem, they're basically the same card. I can't justify that. Ja. We're talking next gen Jazz like B or A. We're talking current gen Jazz like D. Let me put him C. Let me put him C. Lack of Clams kind of kills him, but he has everything else going for him. Really good card, but he's just like. You guys don't know exact same animations as the Iron Fox Amethyst. He's just objectively worse the Iron Fox Amethyst. We get Jeff Malone. B. Mini T Mac. Mini T Mac, no range. Actually, it's probably more accurate because T Mac has range and no clamps, whereas he's clamps and doesn't have range off rip. He is mini Walter Davis. B tier. Uh, Jerry West. I mean, he does a job, I guess. C tier. Anyone locks in walks in for him now, they're crazy, but I mean he's still he's still not terrible. John Starks. You can get a quick first step, John Starks, he's nice. Let's put him in B tier. I think I really have overrated John Starks in the past, but he's he's good, he does a job. Really good defender, pretty decent score. Then we got John Stockton. Stockton, go get into S tier. John Stockton, a fantastic point guard. I would be tempted to move Darren Williams up with him. Because I think they're both very, very even. I'm going to give Stockton the edge just because he runs a bit better and dunks a bit better at this stage in the game. But yeah, Stockton, he's up there in S tier. Juwan. Uh, B tier, Juwan's good. Again, you have to match him out, but it doesn't matter. He's still good. He does a bit of everything. Can play to four, shoots the ball well. If you can get down his release down next gen, he's actually very, very good. Current gen, he's, he's only all right. And we got Kareem. And Kareem's just better Matumbo. Give him B tier. Yeah, let's put Kareem in B tier. Kareem's pretty good. Or, I mean, do I put Kareem in A tier? With D Rob? Oh, I don't know. Kyle Malone. C. He's, Kyle Malone does a job, but you have to badge him up. Even when he's badged up, he's not that good. Kawhi. Maybe this is just personal hatred, but I'm putting this guy in D tier. I hate him. I don't know what it is. I hate him so much. He doesn't even play good that good defense. His defense is kind of mediocre. His jumper just doesn't feel the same. Maybe we all get a better Kawhi, but this Kawhi is not it. He can't dribble either. Kevin Durant. I mean, C tier. Like, when you badge him up, he's objectively not as good as Melo. He's objectively not as good as Chris Mullen. Gordon Hayward. He's still fine, but he's not good. When, he's badged, when these guys are badged, they're all better than him. Kevin Love, uh, slow, really slow, plays no defense. 
He's just better, Larry. He's just Larry Markin with a better release. Let me get him into C tier. Then we got Kiki Vandaway. He is 10 times worse, Larry Bird. Let me put him in D tier. Yes, he's got range extender. Can he do anything else? No. He is literally like a way, way worse Larry Bird card. So, Kiki Vandaway, you are going into D tier. Kyrie Irving, carbon copy of the Amethyst. But he's objectively like as good as a John Morant or something when he's fully badged up. Obviously, you have to badge him up, but fully badged up, he belongs in C tier. He definitely belongs in C tier. He's not awful. Larry Bird. I like Larry more than most people, but I'm still going to put him in C. He's just too slow. At this stage of the game, he is just too slow. But he is a way better key, way better than Kiki Vandoy. Way, way better than him. We got Paul Westfall. Pete Maravich with clamps, but without range. He is to Pete Maravich what Walter Davis is to T Mac. And I'm going to put him in B or A. I'm like an A. I'm like an A tier for him. I like, I really like Mar or um, Paul Westfall. I really like Paul Westfall. Uh, the question is though, is he better than John Starks? I want to say yeah. We got Larry. Larry Johnson. And wherever Juwan Howard is. He's very, very similar. So wherever Juwan Howard is, Larry Johnson's badged up. He's good. He's B tier. He's good. Latrell Sprewell. Badged up. I still like Latrell. Yes, he's not. 85 speed was a lot faster when he first came out than it is now. But when he gets every badge, like range extender and stuff, he's like a, a poor man's um, Dominique. So... Let me put Latrell's free well in eight here. LeBron. I mean, I don't really like LeBron. Let me put him in B tier. He just doesn't have key badges at this stage. No quick first step. Um, only silver clamps, no range. Can't shoot from the corners. He's flawed. He's also good, though. A lot of people like him. I'm not that high on him, so I'm going to put LeBron in B tier, but sure look, it is what it is. Magic Johnson. I mean, he's C. A lot, the weird thing is that a lot of people despise Magic and love Penny Harder when they're basically the same card. I don't like either of them. Let me put Magic in C tier. Michael Red, he's like slightly better than Chris Mullen, but I don't know if I can... I'm not going to put him in A tier because he just shoots the ball and he's not as good as Cliff Hagen. Yeah, let me put him in... Let me put him in B tier. Let me put him in B tier. Monte Ellis, A tier. Monte's quality. Monte is absolutely quality, lads. Jumper is good. Unbelievable dunker. He's like a slightly worse John Stockton. That's basically what, yeah. Slightly worse John Stockton is probably the way to, best way to describe him. PG. It is a tough one because I like PG more than I like LeBron Diamond. I will say that, but I don't know if PG belongs up in this A tier. I'm going to bring PG into B tier. Although, like, if you are, if you do play tie play style and rely on showtime and running fast breaks, obviously Paul George and LeBron are going to be better than Cliff Hagen for you. It's just obviously my play style is, uh, revolves more around shooting. But I'm going to put these guys in B tier because I think they're very similar. Millsap, we're talking next gen. He's like B tier, B tier probably. We're talking current gen. He's like D, so let me put him in C. Uh, two cold zones in the corners kind of kills him. I hit the two cold zone. It means you're going to really struggle shooting from the corners with him unless he's green. So for that reason, yeah, let's put him in C tier. Ray for Olsen. Uh, he's basically just Allen Iverson, Pink Diamond, but he's got bronze or silver clamps. So let me put Ray for Olsen in A tier. Olsen's good, man. Olsen's really good. One of the most underrated cards in the game. Badged up Rudy. Badged up Rudy. Uh, he's better than all these guys in A tier. He's, he is better. Like, he's legitimately better when he's badged up. And let me move Chris Bosch up as well. When Rudy's badged up, he's better than all the guys in A-tier. Although, he's not great when he's not badged up. You do need to give him a few badges. He's got everything. He's got Curry Slide. He's 6'8". He's got a fantastic release. He's got great dunking. He's got everything. Yeah, I'm giving him this. Rudy Gobert. Oh, I don't know. Wherever I put Gobert, I have to put Duncan. I'm putting both of them in S. Because you still see both of them occasionally used in competitive squads. And they're both diamond cards. So, this is a very, very tough one. Bosch, Gobert, Duncan. Like, I, I don't know if I can. It's so hard to separate those guys. It's all personal preference. So, I have to put them all in the same tier. Russell Westbrook. 
Actually, no, there's too many guys in S tier. Let me move all three of these down. Move all three of these down. Russell Westbrook. I mean, badge out, he's A. Badge out, he's A. He's unbelievable. Like, if you find a badge out Westbrook, he's basically John Wall with bronze range. He's really good. One of the most underrated point guards in the game. He belongs here as a low, kind of a lower, lower A tier player. He's better than Starks. He's somewhere between A and B, definitely for Russell Westbrook, but I'm going to put him in the lower A. Scotty Pippen, no brainer. Guy is S tier. Guy is one of the best small forwards in this game, period. Unbelievable defender, solid shooter, ridiculously good card. Okay, then we're on to, I'm just going to throw Zion. Everyone knows Zion's going to be an S tier. One of the best cards, period, in the game. If Glenn's in S tier, Zion's an S tier. Zion is literally just better Glenn. Um, so let's put him in that tier. Then we've got Shane Battier. I mean, B. No range. He's just slightly better Bruce Bowen. Literally it. They're clones of each other. They have the exact same animations, the exact same jump shot, basically the same stats. He's like slightly, slightly better Bruce Bowen. Let's put him in B tier. Tyreek Evans. I mean, C at this stage, he's C. No range extender, only bronze clamps. Yeah, he's fast. Yeah, I like his release, but at this stage, ah, this... The other guys are all better than him. Vlade. C. He's usable. Not great. Uh, Victor Oladipo. B. More, like a more athletic, better defensive Tyreek Evans. Well, not a more athletic, just a better defense Tyreek Evans. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. These are my tier list for the diamond tier. So, this is diamond one. I'll probably do Amethyst and Rubies tomorrow. And then that is probably going to be it for the month, lads. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll have one day off tier list before we go into the position ones at the start of January. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. As the video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.